Hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies, but goodies. You guys, thank you so much for all the love you've given me in my life update video slash my five year celebration with you guys here. The video before this one back with a review. So it cosmetics just released this serum concealer. Serum concealers, they can go either way for me. Sometimes they're just too serum-like where I need more coverage. And sometimes they're like perfect. So this is how it looks. And oh, I didn't realize it has this little brush. Look, okay. Kind of like the Urban Decay one, you know, Urban Decay is a little bigger. It's not too stiff, so that's nice. I have my foundation on. I put it on. I always skip the under eye area because the less product in the eye area, the better. And I also added my eye cream, my belief eye cream to moisturize this area because I do have very dry under eyes. Although I have oily skin, my under eyes be all scrapey crepey sometimes, you know? I got the doe foot first. Oh, it's kind of small. You guys know I always have a dirty paper towel here. So this is how it looks. I like small doe foot and I like that it has that angle because it'll really help get all up in our eye area. I purposely didn't put any eyeshadow today so we can see what kind of coverage we get. Okay, it is kind of, yeah, serumly, serumly, serum-esque, lightweight, has a texture, like it's kind of creamy. You guys, look at my hand. All of a sudden I saw these scratches yesterday. I'm like, I have no idea where the heck they came from. Also at the same time, lightweight. It's pigmented and lightweight. I got this shade because it's a warm undertone. That warmth, that yellow color that is the undertone in this will help color correct my darkness, which is purples. Let's get a good amount. It's drying down for sure. Let's try this brush first. And if it doesn't work, we'll try an actual brush. I don't really like these things to tell you the truth. I feel like these types of little brushes tend to pick up a lot of product, but vamos a ver. It's small, like it's kind of poking, but it's blending out nice though. Okay, I think I need something bigger. You guys, so I started filming my TikToks in front of the window and then YouTube here. So I'm like going back and forth and today's my first day doing it. <laughs> and it's funny but i'm like tiktok i was just feeling i need to film standing up just gonna give me a little more energy i'ma blend out because the lighting i have here is best for my youtube for you guys i wasn't really getting that look that i wanted with my tiktok video so i'm like you gotta change it up if you don't like something change it up and wow this is good the coverage and major hydration which is always a good thing when it comes to concealer okay we have good coverage yeah i could tell by the texture it is creasing but i have very creasy under eyes thinner textured concealers will most likely crease what i'm gonna do is apply this side apply it with my sponge that is damp and then i'll give you some info about it the new it cosmetics bye bye dark spot concealer and serum retails for 30 dollars. i have this shade light warm 23 this comes in 18 shades provides instant medium coverage and clinically fades the look of dark spots and other skin concerns over time key ingredients is two percent niacinamide that helps skin look more even toned minimizes the look of dark spots caffeine that helps the skin look brighter okay it's buildable so i like that now the sponge side i feel like has better coverage let's go back to the brush side with the sponge i did let it dry down for maybe like 30 seconds i think that really helped i definitely prefer the brush a little better than this i feel like this is just too small and it's a little bit too dense and a little harsh and this is the bk brush it's the a506 major hydration which i like and i like that the coverage is very lightweight you see creasing because it's very hydrating it's thin this is the sponge dang this sponge is so like coverage is good look at the brushes out here struggling look at the lids oh all right all right all right now i want to even out here let me let this dry down like as long as i did this one so i must get rid of the creases here i'm gonna use some laura mercier i already prepped my powder puff so look straight and like press the powder in look up quickly and then kind of look back down you want to set your eyes how your eyes naturally rest which is looking straight ahead and then when we get to the lid we can close it 
get all those creases. Now I'm using this Makeup Forever Powder Puff. You guys, did I use a brush for this left eye? I think I did. 8.40 in the a.m. I'm kind of excited to see how this is gonna work. So what I wanna do is tap my powder in. Tapping because I don't wanna move it. I wanna keep it exactly where we placed it. And using like a dense brush like this really helps you get all up in here. Oh, that looks good. Very just hydrated. Girl, you see that? Like how smooth that looks? Okay, we got something here. Okay, let me finish up the face and I'll be back. All right, fam. I feel a li lipstick on my teeth. Talking about lipstick, this is the combo I'm wearing. I saw this girl on Instagram use the vinyl, not these shades, but this combo. So I'm using Peppy 115 and Rust. Kind of like it. It's like double. Double the shine, double the reinforcement, you know? And I just tried it out for the first... Whoa. This Armani mascara. Look at my lashes. Like what oh my god okay the concealer i noticed that my darkness is peeking through it looks like it's after i set it because you see this is the brush this is the sponge the sponge you can really see that darkness up close you really can't see it but let me show you you can't see it up close the coverage is still there it's a light formula type of serum concealer Sometimes powders just don't mesh and it could just take it away because the formula is so thin and the powder can just kind of lift it. That happens. I've seen it happen and it happens a lot of times when things are very thin. Good coverage here and it's like it went away here. So I'm about to get in the car because I need to go to the dentist. I'll see you guys maybe half an hour. Okay, peace out. Familia, I started driving and then I realized I didn't do my check-in. Then I went to go get my cafecito. This is the fifth anniversary cafecito. It's from a place called The Boy and the Bear. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay, concealer. Ooh, I can see a lot of darkness. This is the brush side. Is it the brush side? Shoot, what side? Okay, yeah, brush side, sponge side. You see how this darkness is just coming through? I don't like that. It's also gray because it's super gloomy. That gloominess, it's gonna cause grayness to really appear in the under eye area or like the undertone, but we'll see. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, familia, I'm back. Oh, it is almost eight o'clock. You know, I got some footage at around four o'clock for you to show you how the under eyes were looking. In front of daylight, it looked nice. We had coverage. Here on the left side is the side with the brush. The brush definitely has a tad bit more coverage. And on the right side is the sponge. Sponge is not too far off either. The coverage, it's literally reminding me of the Valentino concealer. Hydrating, natural, we got coverage. It definitely got better throughout the day. The brush is so much better. We don't have creasing, oh wow, at all like literally at all. Honestly, it's behaving like a serum concealer. I don't know why I'm expecting more coverage. And throughout the day, I think it looks better. Maintain that hydration, which is really, really important because we don't want to look super dry and whatnot. And I don't look gastada. Definitely not at all. I'm a little oily, but you guys know we got oily skin here. But yeah, this is it. You guys know I'm gonna be here tomorrow early in the a.m. Day numero dos, you guys, I woke up so late today. So we are starting quite late. What we're gonna do is on one side, let's color correct. Because we saw yesterday, this is a very light weight concealer. This yellow color corrector will get rid of my discoloration. You can really see today that discoloration is gone. You see? You can use a color corrector as a concealer if you want. I just really like how it gives us that first correction. And then we can go in with step numero dos. I'm gonna focus this concealer in the darkest area, which is right there. Bring the concealer up like this so it gives us like a bit of a lifted look and then just cover my eyelid like this. Let's let that dry down. And I'm just gonna blend out with my brush. I'm gonna work my way from the bottom up. So I'm gonna blend the top of my lid. So I'm gonna switch up the brush and get something a little flatter. And let's see, because I am noticing like it's pulling off my foundation. This is not working. Let's use my sponge. These BK brushes, they always come through. This is the 206. You see this before and after? Damn. This, that hydration, you see, you could just see it on the lid and here, like how wet it looks. And like we did with the first eye, let's let that dry down. I like that the doe foot does not deposit a lot of product. So you're able to literally build it up. 
Okay, let's blend out. I've let this sit for a little bit now. And what I'm doing here is just tapping the product. I am not rubbing it in because we don't want streaks. And we want the product to stay where we placed it. Because it's so thin, the brush will give you like these streaks. So the way I get rid of them is I'll just get a sponge go over it but then because the sponge does take off a little bit of coverage you can go back in with the brush and kind of smooth that out you know what i've been seeing on tiktok i added a little bit more is people blending their creams out with the powder puff so let's just do it why not because we're here and see i'm just gonna tap it in here let's tap in my lid just because it's creasy let me show you, let me show you. Here is corrector on corrector. You see corrector visibly that there's more coverage, which is totally fine, we know that. And it's creasing, very hydrating. Lids too. Set with some Dermablend powder. We're switching up the powder today. Dermablend is one of my favorite, favorite setting powders. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. powder puff. And then just, I'm gonna look up and then look straight down. I feel like we're getting the same result from yesterday because look, the coverage looks nice, right? But if I look up, yesterday and today, the powder is just not really meshing well with this product. It may be because the product's very wet. It looks like it's taking some coverage away. And at this point, we need all the coverage we can get, you know? So it's currently 7.45. You guys know we're gonna do an all day wear test. So let me finish up the face and then I'll be back. You guys, this time change has me all messed up. I haven't been able to sleep in two days. And I'm like, whew, I need some sleep. I like this color corrector side. It looks really nice. Like this side's good. Oh, wee. This actually, I feel like looks better today. I feel like we have more coverage today. We do know how to use the product better. This side looks way smoother. I don't know if you can see right here, I have like these spots, like where the setting powder is just not really grabbing to the product. Tapping powder with a brush may be better, but I personally don't like that because it doesn't give us a smooth look like any sort of powder puff does. You guys, it's gonna rain again today. It's very gloomy out. Oh, I'm gonna have to give you that footage from a very gray outside. Oh, my lip is gifted from Rare and then hot chocolate from Fenty Heat. Oh, you know, simple lip today. Okay, bye. Actually not as gray as I thought. I mean, a little bit, but not too bad. We got, we got good coverage. Here is, not coverage lighting. Here is the color corrected side. You see that lightweightness? You see slight darkness, but very slight. And then no corrector. Oh, you see, this is what I was talking about, the, the powder kind of just like grabbing a little piece. I mean, it looks good. Like, ojeras a donde? And my under eyes are really dark, because I'm telling you, I haven't slept in two days. So, okay, ciao. Um, I'm back. It is 6.30. We've had the concealer on day two for, I don't know, 11 hours? But you know, I got some footage at around, I think, 3.30 today. The side with the, the corrector was looking good. You know, it's been looking good all day, but the other side, it's like that buildup. You can see the powder built up like in the end of my eye. So I didn't really like that. The coverage was still looking good. Here we are now. Corrector looks good, you know, cause we have the corrector. Not a corrector, like the little splotch here. Darkness, you see it, right? But you can also kind of see it here, look, yeah. Definitely, this is the winner today. It provides like light to medium coverage. It's very hydrating. Literally like the Valentino concealer it does what a serum concealer does. This is just not enough coverage and I just don't feel like it went well with any of the powders I used. I wouldn't recommend this if you have creasy under eyes, if they're dry, if they're dark, if you need a lot, this is not gonna be for you. This is probably someone to spot conceal really quick. Someone that has very nice under eyes that are not too, too dark. Cause the formula, it's not bad, but it's just not for us that we need help, you know? Concealer that I do like that is very hydrating and provides coverage. The new Givenchy is a good one. Even the Valentino is good. I feel like this one performed better than this one, but these are extremely similar. Let me know your thoughts about It Cosmetics. I will link it down below if you are interested in it. Have you purchased it? Are you planning on getting it? Do you like It Cosmetics? Thank you for all the love and support you constantly, constantly show me. I love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.